is human. I am Cyber Loki, and I have come in search of some new weapons. Apparently, this Rebel Camp has some very interesting ones. So let's check out some of these new quests that have appeared that can help us earn some Rebel Rubies to buy these weapons. Now, the first one is dealing with the snooping guards. Now, everybody's done this quest a little bit before, and you needed to kill 10 crocs to earn it, but now you have to kill Captain Irwin as well. Now, Captain Irwin turns out to be a rare beast indeed, and in the time I ran around for about 20 minutes, he did not spawn. I really would not recommend this one as a fast way to farm Rebel Rubies at all. Now, there is a new quest over here with uh, Shmo the Hydration Specialist, and it is called uh, Mamba Mia. And you have to kill Mamba and uh, 20 cave snakes. Now, it's really easy to kill 20 cave snakes, but they are kind of scattered around, and it may take some time, especially if a lot of other people are actually hunting them. And with Mamba, you do need at least two people to take this snake down, but it actually could be very fast to farm uh, Rebel Rubies this way. So now let's head on over to the blacksmith and check out the new weapons and the quest that she has to do them. Now the quest is the deadly monster quest and you are going to need these deadly monster parts to make these uh, weapons. And it also gives you 5 rebel rubies. Now it won't give you enough rebel rubies for the amount of monster parts you need so you will have to farm some more rubies elsewhere. You will also require sandstone alloy for all of these weapons. Now that's the daily quest that you can only do once a day, so make sure you do it. It's with Craig the Intern in Nigel's office in Bastion. Now the purple or uh, epic weapons here have further requirements. For the Slayer Claw, you will have to trade in both the Psy and the Spear in order to craft it. And with the Golden Pharaoh Pistol, you will have to trade in the Pharaoh Pistol in order to craft that as well. Now I'm going to run you through the quest for the monster parts so you know where everything is and the fastest way to do it. Now the fastest way I found is to head out the back exit. Now instead of running through the uh, entire cave and getting King Nola gem first, which means you're adding the distance of running through the cave twice, it's quicker to come out this way and head over to Slitherroth. Now you might wonder why not head to Sting first, he's right there. Well, if you head to Sting first, you're going to draw every single scorpion along the way over where Sting is. And um, I actually ended up dead twice because people were doing this. And if you run the loop this way around, you really won't get all that extra mob attacks. You just have to head towards this pyramid and then just cut through down the little side ramp here. And Sting is right here. So then you can just head back to the rebel cave. Not getting stuck on the cactus. <laughs> and just run in an absolute straight line all the way down, following the path to King Nola Gem. Once 
Once he's defeated, just head back up to the rebel camp, hand it in, and run the loop again. Now, there is one more quest that has appeared, and it's a continuation of the Sansy story. So you just want to run to Bastion and go see Nigel in front of his office, and he has another Lost Sea Scrolls quest. Now, there are three scrolls, and the final scroll will reveal that somewhere hidden in the Valley of the Undying King is a vault with hidden treasure. Now, I just reached 200 subscribers, and to celebrate, I'm doing a 2K AP giveaway on the AEF. So head there to join in. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.